Good morning, I'm Ha Kaler, Interim Communications Manager for the HRBT Expansion Project. And I am Steve Myers, Communications Manager for Hampton Roads Connector Partners, also referred to as HRCP. Welcome to the virtual announcement ceremony for the HRBT Expansion Project's Tunnel Boring Machine Naming Contest. We are so excited to share with you the top three finalists and the winning name selected for the HRBT Expansion Project Tunnel Boring Machine. The contest was launched in October of 2020 and middle schools across the region were invited to participate in the contest to name the TBM. From all these entries, the top three finalists were selected and the winning team was determined. We'll get to the exciting announcement in just a minute, but first, a few words from our project leadership. Good morning, I'm Jim Mutterback, the VDOT project director for the HRBT expansion project. I want to welcome you here today as we are going to cover a, a milestone for this project. As you know, it is a 10 mile interstate widening from Hampton to Norfolk. So part of the crossing of the project is the new HRBT tunnels. So we're building two new tunnels. These are different than the existing tunnels on Hampton Roads. These are actually constructed under the tunnel boring method. So this project has a tunnel boring machine. What's customary about the project and the tunnel boring machine is that these machines are typically named. So the machines are given a name that's associated with the machine through the life of the project. What we have done in trying to identify the name is we've engaged the uh, schools in the community. So the middle schools primarily or the target looking at those that are involved in science, technology, um, education, and had them actually put together uh, proposals or um, names for the, for the machine. So I was real happy with the participation and the innovative names that we came up with. We were very impressed with the students' creativity and presentation. So, Choosing a winner was no easy task, so we appreciate the submissions and proud to recognize the top three finalists and announce the, uh, the winning name for the TBM. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Kevin Page, and I am the Executive Director of the Hampton Roads Transportation Accountability Commission, or known as HRTAC. HRTAC is responsible for paying for the majority of the $3.8 billion bill for the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel Project. The HRBT expansion project is made possible through unprecedented regional cooperation with our partner, the Virginia Department of Transportation. As we all know, this is the largest infrastructure project in the history of the Commonwealth. The project will ease congestion in the region as well as benefit commerce, tourism, shipbuilding, the military, as we have the largest naval base in the world right here in Hampton Roads in the Port of Virginia, which is the economic engine for the Commonwealth. We also have so many others, just too many to, to mention at this time. A milestone such as this one we celebrate today, the naming of the tunnel boring machine could not have been made possible without the invested interest of our many stakeholder groups, including our school systems throughout the region. I was so pleased to see so many schools that participated in the naming contest. Each of you who participated should be very proud to have been a part of the naming of the tunnel boring machine of such a significant historic project. It is up to us together to achieve a greater vision for transportation in Hampton Roads and to provide solutions to improve the economic vitality and quality of life for all the residents across the region. I'm so proud that we were able to reach the students across the region, and I was so impressed to see the participation from both sides of the water, which makes this a true regional program. Thank you for your participation and congratulations. Good morning, I'm Jose Martinelos. I'm the Hampton Road Connector Partners Project Executive. First, let me express our appreciation for all the wonderful entries we had for the TBM naming contest. We had a real hard time trying to decide which one was gonna be the winner. The 
name of the winner will be prominently displayed on the TVM machine. Historically, the machine has always been named before the construction starts because we, it is believed that that brings good luck. The miners have always looked up to St. Barbara, who was the patron of the military engineers and the mining engineers, as well as the miners, to bring them good luck. Uh, as the course of the history has evolved, different names have been accepted for the TBM mine, mining machine. The TBM is being built uh, in Germany right now. It's getting ready to be uh, shipped to the Hampton Roads area. It will arrive to the South Island uh, close to the fall and it will be assembled in the South Island. It is going to be a challenging moment for the operation because it's a massive operation that uh, entails a machine of 46 foot height that is roughly the height of a four-story building. The TBM will be assembled and then will start mining early 2022 for an operation that will last more or less over two years. We want to thank you again for the participation of all the wonderful entries we received. As I said, we had a, a wonderful time evaluating them and a really hard time picking the winner. We appreciate everybody's effort on all the submissions. At this time, we would like to recognize our top three finalists to announce the first place winner for the name of the HRVT expansion project tunnel boring machine. Thanks, Jose. Before we get to the winners, we just wanted to share some background on the contest. To submit an entry to the TBM naming contest, students had to research and propose a name for the TBM. They had to provide a rationale for their selected name and submit their entries as either a poster, a brochure, or a video. Entries were judged on their selected name and their relevance to the project and to the community, as well as their creativity and presentation of their submission. Thanks to all of the schools that participated. We received terrific entries and you really made it tough on our judges. Students really understood the need to tie the name back to the project and the community. And we had several entries for the same great names. That's where the presentation and creativity of submissions came into play. We are pleased to announce the third place winner from Hunter B. Andrews School in Hampton, Team E-Steam Club, with their submission of TO for the Emancipation Oak as a brochure entry. And the second place winner from Crittenden Middle School in Newport News, the seventh grade math class with their submission of Mary as a brochure entry. And the moment you've all been waiting for, the first place winner from St. Gregory the Great Catholic School in Virginia Beach, Team Sancti Potentes with their submission of Mary in honor of Mary Jackson as a video entry. Mary Jackson, a mathematician and aerospace engineer at NASA, was a pioneer as an African-American woman in the field of science and engineering. She made crucial contributions to the NASA space program as depicted in the blockbuster movie, Hidden Figures. Additionally, she was from Hampton, Virginia, which the students pointed out as one of their reasons for selecting Mary as the name of the TBM. Let's take a look at the winning entry. your midday news here at the St. News Network. Our first segment is about a great project which will make the drivers in Hampton Roads very happy. Take it away, Alex. Thanks, Maddie and Noah. It's another dicey day on the HRVT. Just look at that traffic and those angry drivers. Get out of the way, busy driver. This is a tunnel. It's a road. Good news is on the way. A new twin two-lane tunnel will be built with the help of a TVM, or tunnel boring machine. For more on that, let's go to Nolan at the NASA Langley Research Facility in Hampton. We are excited to share a possible new name for the tunnel boring machine. With me, I have a few NASA employees here to share with our viewers the extraordinary Mary Winston Jackson. Tell us who Mary Winston Jackson is. Thanks. Mary Winston Jackson might be known to your viewers as one of the characters in the hit movie, Hidden Figures. She was born on April 9, 1921, right here in Hampton Roads. Mary Winston Jackson graduated from the Hampton Institute with a degree of Math and Physical Science in 1942. She was a teacher, but is best known for being an incredible engineer. 
In fact, she was part of a special group of aeronautical engineers. So, what does she have to do with the tunnel project? We believe in order to really highlight this incredible woman's accomplishments and contributions to Hampton Roads, our nation, and our world, the tunnel boring machine should be named after her. Let's call the TBM the Mary. Back to you in the studio. Mary Winston Jackson was certainly an incredible engineer and highly successful despite difficult times in our nation's history. Naming the TBM after her would be a great way to honor her. Let's do this! Wow! How impressive are those kids? The timing could not be better to honor the legacy of Mary Jackson as we celebrate African American History Month in February and Women's History Month in March. As she bridged the gap and made a pathway for others, so will the TBM named in her honor. Now, let's head to St. Gregory's to see the reactions of the students when they found out that their name was selected as the first place winner. You made it into the finalists. Actually, you are the first place winner. Okay, congratulations, huh? How about that? So, you are the first place winner. First place winner, yes. <laughs> so, you won it. We had a lot of good names and we had a lot of great presentations. You guys just knocked it out of the park, I thought. So, so good job. When uh, we received the email um, from the organization, we decided that this would be a fantastic opportunity for our students to participate in. Um, it looked like it would be a great stream opportunity for them to um, do some research, take a look at the engineering behind it, the science behind it, and basically put it as an activity that they could do within the school, uh, given the current restrictions that they have on field trips and opportunities to go outside of the school. This seemed the perfect fit for our students. We were given the contest and we wanted to pick a female scientist that had relations to our area. So we started researching different female scientists that have worked here or lived here and we came across Mrs. Mary Winston Jackson. We went through the list of options for the presentation. So we decided that a video would probably be the most exciting and entertaining thing to watch. I was just extremely surprised and very happy that we won. I didn't expect for this to happen today at all. Let's go Saints! Let's go Saints! Let's go Saints! Let's go Saints! Thank you to each of the middle schools in Hampton Roads who participated to include public school, private school, and home school students. The competition was fierce as our region boasts some of the best and the brightest. As Jose mentioned, when Mary, the TBM, arrives later this fall, it will proudly bear its name in honor of Mary Jackson. We look forward to sharing her arrival with you as she is delivered to the South Island of the HRBT. Stay connected to the project by liking us on social media and signing up for our monthly newsletter. Thanks for joining our virtual announcement ceremony and congratulations to all the students.